good morning. What's up guys? Welcome back to day two here in the Hilton Morea. This morning we are waking up a little bit early. Yep. We've been up since like six, it's like seven now. We were yeah. getting ready, had to iron the shirt, get all this put together and everything. We're, uh, we're looking pretty good. And uh, today we are actually gonna be taking over the Hilton's Instagram story. So you guys have seen us do this before on Royal Caribbean and stuff like that. Basically, we're just gonna try to go through the resort and do everything we can. What are some of the things we have planned? Uh, snorkeling, paddle boarding, swimming in the pool, exploring this area, a couple different restaurants. There's Everything. so much to do and uh, basically we just want to get cool content for their story, capture photos, capture video footage for our vlog and uh, yeah, I don't know, it's going to be kind of a fun day. So we are starting off the morning, the sun just rose over there to the right. We have some, some really nice soft light now so I think we're going to try to get some photos on the pontoon. I think they call this thing the pontoon, it's not really floating but uh, we're going to try to get photos on this both for ourselves and for them. So let's do it. So those really cool, smooth running shots, this is what we do to get it. Here we are back at the crib. We've got some weird looking thing. I don't even oh, know what kind of a too. fish that is. I don't either. What kind of a fish is that? It's, it's not an eel. They're long and slender no, though. It's a fish though. Yeah. It's not like a squid one. Interesting, there's one there and there's two over there. We've got some big blue ones there. Those are the biggest ones we've seen. She just loves the wildlife. I really do. You want to go jump in with them? Sure. So before we hit breakfast, mm -hmm. we are going to do the first scene of the Instagram takeover. Yes. So what's like, when you think about overwater bungalows and everything else, what's the number one thing you think of? Wake up, swim. Wake up, jump in the water. So what we've got going on, Chelsea hasn't been up yet, hasn't done her makeup. Didn't have a dress on like five minutes ago. She's just in her robe and her slippers. We've got a coffee out there that's definitely cold by now because yep. we've been cleaning up the room because the room wasn't messy because that's just, you know, perfection. Well, they messy Everybody's perfect all the time. So um, she's going to be kind of like leaning on the edge, drinking a coffee. I'm going to have my mouth mountain GoPro. So it's going to be a first person perspective of like throwing the sheets off, stepping out of bed coming through here, like maybe, you know, grabbing her, touching her, touching her shoulder or whatever else, and then walking down and jumping off into the water yep. because that's how every morning starts here. Exactly what we did this morning, yep. for sure. So it was a good shot, it turned yeah. out well. Um, we shot it that first time in 4K and then we shot it a second time in 1080p with super view. So it gives you a little bit more of a fisheye effect but you can yeah. see a little bit more. But the problem with that is now we have a wet bed. Sides yeah. of Instagram perfection that you don't think about. So, On my side of the bed. And that's your side of the bed, the best part. Sorry about your side of the bed, Chels. Hopefully that's the only time I'll ever wet the bed. But uh, anyway, it's time to head to breakfast. We got some ginger and pineapple juice right when we walked in. Power juice, I like that. Breakfast with a view, that's pretty good. The Hilton provided us with a lot of activities they wanted us to film on the story. So after breakfast, we did a little shopping and then played tennis, kind of. What up, my little tennis player? Oh, hello. Do you actually play tennis at all? Um, no. <laughs> no? Yeah, me neither. Um, so uh, one thing that Hilton wanted us to get was to show off their tennis courts, which, I mean, let's be honest, this is beautiful. Look at that view right there. That is insane. Uh, the problem is neither one of us play. However, I feel like there's not any place more beautiful for two people to suck at tennis than this you know yeah. what i mean so oh, yeah. we're we're just gonna prance around pretend like we know what we're doing hopefully get a couple of pictures but uh 
I don't really foresee that going well. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look how good we are at tennis. Oh baby, good stuff. Nice return. Boom. Call you the next Serena. Damn girl. You're looking good. Boom. Okay. Keep it going. Oh. After our poor excuse for playing tennis, we decided to cool off in the pool. But that's when Chels realized she had a pretty major wardrobe malfunction. We've realized we made a bit of a mistake in the wardrobe choice today. Quite a large mistake. She has this really cool white, brown, and leopard print bikini on yep. that I'm sure you guys have seen that we've all appreciated. Well, uh, it turns out the white part is completely see-through. The top is white and so is the bottom. We're going to get some towels. The package is acquired. Towel delivery in the middle of the pool. Everybody thinks we're crazy right now. Yeah, she uh, she just showed me. She wasn't joking. It is <laughs> all out for the entire world to see. That is crazy. <laughs> Why would they make a bathing suit? You would have been better off naked, honestly. <laughs> I was either a nude color that looked like my skin or white that was see through, so. <laughs> so, um, I win Boyfriend of the Year award today, right? <laughs> you were so close. You got me a towel when I the looked at The towel naked. part was a, a point in yeah, the right column. Yeah. It was and then in the wrong column, uh, we wanted some really nice, fruity, like, colorful drinks. And so I went up and I picked them. And I picked one that looks amazing right here, red, white, and blue. Get that fly out of here. And then this one looked even better a second ago. The ice cream, this is coconut ice cream. It's kind of taken over, but it used to be green all throughout. But um, it's kiwi, and I wasn't really paying attention, and she's allergic to kiwi. So I got her a drink that she can't drink. He purposefully got me the drink because it was coconut ice cream, and he didn't read any further into it at all. <laughs> well, at least you know I was thinking of you. <laughs> anyway, what do you say, girl? You want lunch? I want some pizza. Let's do it. So yet again, we are going with a very traditional Polynesian food for lunch. We got a pizza a second time in a row. How thick this pepperoni is, do you see? <laughs> that is very thick pepperoni, and it's good. it's so good. We couldn't pass it up. I don't know. It's an easy snack you can split. You don't have a ton of food, but it's like enough to keep you going. It's perfect. So we're gonna eat this. Uh, just found out that Hilton told us we can ask the guys by the pool to make us flower crowns. I'm so excited. So, I'm so excited. she's going to have one of those made and then it's going to be time to get out on the paddle boards, which we've currently been watching this couple over here struggle really, really bad. That should be a good time. I feel like I'm at a movie theater. Okay, okay. He's up. He got up. He forgot his paddle. He had to go back down. Now he has his paddle. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. He's gonna swim it back in, like dragging it, because he can't do it. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't think we're gonna be able to make flower crowns today, but tomorrow yeah, we'll be able tomorrow. to make that dream come true. Yeah. So in the meantime, I think we are gonna go make our own pareos, or pareas, pareas. I'm, I'm not sure how you say it. We've heard it both ways. Yeah. So we're gonna go check that out. Basically, you just like tie dye it and you make your own. These are pretty cool. I like that one. That's pretty traditional tie dye. The red and blue is cool. Oh, that's cool. oh, that's beautiful. I like that one a lot. Um, did we miss it? So we didn't miss it. The instructor was just on a lunch break. You start with a white sheet, twist it and fold it up depending on the pattern that you want to create, and then dip it into layers of different colored dyes. At the end, you unravel and see what you created. Dang, girl, that's pretty cool. I like that one. I like the colors. That one is Ooh. way better than I thought. You did a really, really good job. Thank you. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. You just put it here? Oh! oh. I killed it. I was so scared. You did kill it. <laughs> While our pareos were drying, the instructor taught us a few of the hundreds of different ways you can wear these things. It's seriously crazy. But after that, we wanted to turn up the action a little bit. It was time to go paddleboarding. Oh man, look at this. Are these fiberglass? Oh wow, these are really nice. A lot of times rentals have like inflatables and stuff that you can't really damage, but these are these are fiberglass. A 
our room is right there. We could go paddle to it and like grab a beer or something if you wanted. This is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Got the sun starting to go down over there. It hasn't been as sunny today, to be honest. It's uh, It's been a little bit cloudy, but at the same time, that's not bad. What do you think, babe? Should we go to where the, the line where the sky meets the sea? No. Come find me. Before I go, how deep it go? How does it go? I don't remember. See the line where the sky meets the sea, it calls me. No one knows before it goes. That was actually pretty good. <laughs> Much better than mine. <laughs> the craziest thing is like that coral. Oh God. Ooh, are you okay? Anyway, as I was saying, that coral is literally like four inches under the surface, so if I fall, it would really hurt. Luckily, I fell right there. We made it to the end of the pontoons. I really want to go out to where those waves are. Hey, look, there's the catamaran. That catamaran's going to be picking us up tomorrow morning. We have four hours, just us two on that catamaran. It's a private snorkeling tour. They're going to take us to a bunch of spots. We're going to be swimming with sharks, stingrays, potentially dolphins. Dolphins apparently show up a lot, which could be kind of cool. Hopefully some sea turtles. I don't know, it's supposed to be pretty crazy. Apparently Morea is like a nine out of 10 snorkeling and Bora Bora is a 10 out of 10 snorkeling. So I'm really excited. Look at all the coral, babe. This is insane. Look at that purple. I've never seen shades of purple and coral like that before. Look at those rays, those God rays coming through the clouds. We just turned up the graphics, girl. Oh my gosh, babe, that was so much fun. So it turns out in the middle of all of that, the dome that we had on the paddleboard, I guess it just fell off and sunk and we just weren't paying attention how, and how never even realized one it. Of us, that's a big thing to have fall off and neither for one of real. us. For real. Like this is an essential piece of our equipment for the next few days and it was sitting at the bottom of the ocean. This fine gentleman right here on the, uh, the paddleboard out there, this guy, he is a legend. He's like probably 70s, wouldn't yeah. you say? Probably 70s. And he found it when he was snorkeling. He was hanging on to it. And they said that they hadn't turned it into the desk yet because he wanted to try it with his GoPro. So I was like, they, they heard me asking the front desk about it and they were gonna return it. I was like, look, if you wanna play with your you GoPro say, with it, yeah. go for it. So he went around and he snorkeled around for like 45 minutes with it. I think he got some pretty good stuff. It was a win-win. We got our stuff back. I'm excited. So oh my gosh, I that was so important. I would rather somebody like turns it in after they use it than just keeps it, so right. whatever. It, it could have been much, much worse. So anyway, fantastic day in the books. I think we're gonna kind of get cleaned up, maybe take a little shower. I, I don't know what's going on, um, but we're just gonna, Take it easy for, I, I don't know. Crepes. I really don't know. What are we We're doing? We're gonna go get crepes We're gonna go get crepes crepe tonight. Bar. But yeah. that doesn't open for like an hour and a half, so. No, so now you're stuck with me. We're just gonna chill. So we are currently venturing out into the great dark unknown. I think this is the first time we've left this place in the dark. I think it is too. Yesterday we just holed up and we were a little bungalow hermit. <laughs> So we are going over here, this little circular area where the pontoon juts off into two different kind of like roads, I guess you could say. Yeah. This is a crepery and bar that's only open from 6 to 10 p.m., which is kind of yeah. weird. They've and got... I just read in the brochure that you can see apparently a lot of animals while you're eating. Really? They say that a lot swim around here. Oh, I hope. let's see if we can see anything. The taste test. Ooh. But I also really like champagne. So. <laughs> I'm not a huge champagne drinker. Mine's okay. It's not my favorite thing I've ever had. It's also a $20 cocktail, which is kind of crazy. Then in that but... case, it should be the best cocktail you've ever had. Right. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's all right. We'll still drink it. We'll still enjoy it. What are you doing? <laughs> Can I tell you something I just realized? Huh. This is the most Space I have had to eat an authentic 
crepe in an authentic creperie because everywhere in France we were like Oh my gosh, that's so true. <laughs> this just looks so good. Are you I'm kidding so me right good. now? I got the Viking which is like salmon, cream sauce, cheese, and zucchini. She I got, got the carnivore. The so carnivore. it was beef, chorizo, tomato, cheese, and onions, I think. And chorizo, their chorizo I think is just pepperoni. I don't but think it's, it's actual spicy, chorizo. Spicy pepperoni. So maybe it is actual chorizo. I don't, I don't know. know. It's it's a different texture than normal chorizo, yeah. or at least like Mexican chorizo back yeah. home. But anyway, this looks so amazing. We're about to go in. I think we're going to share a dessert one as well. The crepes here were great, but the best part of the restaurant were the five to six sharks that were swimming under your feet the entire time. These sharks were entirely wild. No one was feeding them or coaxing them to come to us, and apparently they just come every night. Babe. Oh my gosh. We have been talking about this, about how bad we want to see a storm, like a thunderstorm or any type of storm while we're in this overwater bungalow. And apparently tonight, it it's is. gonna happen. Yeah, oh my yeah. gosh. It said thunderstorms until 5 a.m. We've got the radar up. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. You can hear the thatch clapping together. The wind is picking up. It started sprinkling a little bit at the end of our dinner. Oh, this is gonna be perfect. Uh. 